Welcome to this BASI Systems tutorial. This is part of a series of tutorials where I discuss different aspects of the BASI Systems equipment. I'm so proud of this equipment. It is truly made for professionals by professionals. Every single feature has been designed around form, function, and being user-friendly, easy to adjust, and easy to use all day, every day. We all know that these are taxing issues on any teacher that's making multiple adjustments uh, during a day of teaching. So what I'm going to address today is the length of the ropes or straps. Whether you use straps or ropes, we need to address the length. There's no standardization in terms of length. And remember, if the ropes are longer, there's going to be less tension on the ropes. If they're shorter, there'll be more tension. It also has an effect on body position, on demand, say for instance, the short spine, on demand on the hamstrings, whether you're getting a, a very intense stretch on the hamstrings. When the ropes are short, when the ropes are longer, the effect on the hamstrings is different. So I'm going to offer a way of standardizing the rope length. We start off with simply getting an idea of the rope length by placing the straps over the shoulder rests. They simply sit loosely over the shoulder rests and the ropes are somewhat taut. There's no slack in the rope. Please note that all the springs are on so that the carriage cannot move. You're starting with a stable surface. It's imperative once you've done that to bring the straps to the center and they're probably about two inches, five centimeters down from the edge of the foam. This is the way you need to hold them and feel that the tension on both straps is even. If one is longer than the other, Let's say, for instance, we find that we put them over the shoulder rest. And I can already tell this one is a little longer, but let's say they look the same. You bring them here and, oh, we see a difference. We simply pull the rope through these clamps, which are very high quality, as well as these stainless steel guides. And we see it's still a little long. We pull go incrementally, pull, and now I feel that I'm almost there, I'm there. I feel they're sitting in the same place at the center, there's equal tension on these ropes and they are perfect to now place on these handles. Notice these handles are very sturdy, they are made of metal and very high density rubber so you can hold on to them. This is very important when we do certain exercises. For instance, if we are doing an exercise like the advanced corkscrew, we can hold on to these handles and you have a lot of grip. They aren't made of slippery aluminum, although there is aluminum inside. They are made of this high density rubber so you can hold on to them as you come around and around and offering that support you need for the shoulders and around. Beautiful handles, very comfortable to hold on to and very, very sturdy. Moving on from these handles, I just want to address, first of all, the very high quality pulleys that we've used here. Every single component was sought out for its function. You can see how smooth these pulleys are, no expense was spared, very, very high grade pulleys that make no noise and will certainly not deteriorate 
with time. The next thing we may want to do is put handles on instead of straps. I prefer not to use carabiners. Carabiners make noise, they cumbersome to use. So all we do here is undo that knot, bring the strap through, we take the handle, thread it through, and we now have this wonderful handle to put on there. I'll in fact hang that there, put the other handle on, undo the knot, take the strap out, hang it right there, thread it through, no need for carabiners, and we're ready to work. You can actually put this handle to one side and hang it comfortably, put this aluminum handle to one side, hang it comfortably until you're ready to use it, and then it simply pulls out, simply pulls out into position. You want to go back to the straps, you simply pull on that, it comes undone very easily, take it out, put the strap back on, hang it, pull on it, put the strap through, hang it. These you can hang anywhere. You can hang them on here. The only problem when you're jumping, they sometimes knock the wood. So uh, being someone that doesn't like a lot of knocking of the equipment, I simply keep them right here, hooked onto those hooks, and everything is very neat, tidy, and clean. Notice how quiet everything is. Notice there's no clanging here. Notice how this is absolutely frictionless and quiet. Everything is smooth, quiet. You feel the quality in every aspect and every facet of this equipment. Thank you so much. For more, for more information, please visit bassysystems.com. Thank you.